morning and welcome to Coffee Guy 419. So this morning, it is cooler than yesterday morning. It's actually 62 degrees this morning. It's a little cooler than I expected it to be. And all I've got on is a t-shirt under this here jacket. Oh well. It'll be alright. I swear it will. So as I said yesterday, we're talking about free education. As in college education. A lot of people out there or at least the news media would have you think that a lot of people would like to see free education. What do you think? Who's paying for your free education? Who's paying for any education? I can tell you this, it's not a new concept. Every single person who's ever paid for their education has had the thought, wish I didn't have to pay for this. You know what I mean? But I'll tell you this also, a good many of them are thankful to be able to pay for it and move on. Now, I'm not going into whether college education is something you need to have or should have or any of that. All I'm going to say is, if you choose to go to college, or your parents choose for you, and you go to college, do you really think that that education should be free? And here's another concept for you while we're talking about that. Who's paying for it if you're not paying for it? The government? So let's talk about that. Where does that funding come from? Where does the government get its money? You think it just generates money and turns a little machine and out pops money and that's what they pay for stuff with? Yeah, that machine is you and me or your parents and their parents, etc. Other people like you and me they're the ones who are paying for your education and eventually you're paying for someone else's if that kind of a system gets instilled so over 51 percent of all government spending last year in 2018 was from revenue collected through the average Joe's taxes. 35 to 40 percent, I don't know the exact number so that's why I'm saying 35 to 40, uh, of their spending came from or through welfare programs which that's also tax generated money, that's just where that money came from that they spent. So that would be money's handed out. And then a very small portion comes from corporate taxes. So not a huge chunk comes from corporate taxes anyway. But that's where their spending comes from for the vast majority of things. report does it say and this money comes from all the money that the government generated as they worked hard and laboriously on all their projects yeah no it doesn't happen you and I we fund the government and although they're spending trillions of dollars 4.1 trillion I think in 2018, you can look it up. So if they're spending that much of our money, 
they should be listening to us more, right? Yeah. Send your congressman a letter. See if you get a response. If you do, let me know. That'd be great to know. Good for you. It's awesome. Hopefully he uh, does what you ask him to do. Or she. Sorry. Might be a she. A congresswoman. And I'm not saying they're not going to listen. I'm not saying they're not going to do it. But... Most times they go to Washington with an agenda, and it's their agenda, not yours. But getting back to free education. So if they put in a free education program where the government pays for education, pays for your college tuition, all the other average Joe the other average Joe taxpayers get to pay for your education not the government they're just they're just a conduit for that money you know what I mean so here's my thoughts on it and this part's totally my opinion if you want to give somebody a free education pay their tuition how about this? How about we have them sign a contract that says, we will pay for your education, we will pay your tuition in college. In return, you will work for the U.S., in the U.S., and pay your taxes for the next, we'll say 30 years. That's long enough to pay back most of what, they, uh, what you um, were loaned. Actually, it's, an, it's enough to pay it back through your taxes, probably minus the interest. I would have to do the numbers there, but I don't. I haven't done. But I think you know what I'm saying. I have them sign a contract. Say they're not going to take their business elsewhere once they have their education. So they get their education, and then they have to stay in the U.S., and work and generate money and revenue, you know, taxes. They pay their taxes. Right? Put their monies back into the economy. Rather than, I say, uh, get their education, go off to India or England or whoever it may be, and then we're not getting that benefit. That's one idea. So I'm not saying that free education's wrong. I'm just saying who gets to keep that going? And who, who determines that, or who guarantees that whoever's getting a free education isn't going to take that money and get their education and then leave the country? You tell me. What's your opinion? Maybe I'll actually get comments on this video, huh? I don't know. That's just my rant for the week. It was on my mind, and now it's on yours. <laughs> Have a great week. Have a great day. You know what? Have a bad one. I don't care. I do care. I don't want you to have a bad week or a bad day. So whatever you do, stay safe. And another thing. What about all those folks that just finished their education and paid for it? Or are about to pay for it through their student loans? What about them? You gonna pay those off or do they just, they're screwed? Yeah. Seems like a great plan. Great idea, right? 
let's give free education to the next next bunch of students but you that just finished and graduated last year eh, 